All right, thanks, guys. We improved to 3-0 and yesterday in our last three extra daily pick tier package plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And I'm going to talk about that just a little bit more in just a moment. But before we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and take a look at our first match of the day. It's going to be in the International Seca Cup Table Tennis League. And we're going to start with Andre Kurtenko taking on Yuri uh, Kokunin. And that's going to be a 140 Eastern start time. Kokunin has dropped four out of his last five matches, including a shutout defeat to the hands of Kachenko during that stretch. Andre on the other side has won his last two straight and posted a record of six and two straight up in his last eight. More specifically, he's garnered himself some marquee victories against the likes of Demchuk, Zaporoshitz, uh, and Kachenko during those contests. I think I got to give the clear advantage to Andre in this spot here. Give me Andre Kurtenko winning that one outright for some money line cash. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and purslines out for Thursday's International Seca Cup table tennis action. Happy Thursday to you. Hopefully you're having a good week. The weekend is right around the corner. Now, before we go ahead and move on with the program, I just want to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage, where once again, we improved to 3-0 yesterday in our last three extra daily pick tier package plays on that website. We also improved to 5-1 in our last six daily best play tier package plays on that site as well. We do daily premium sports picks on that website beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We also have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. Currently, we have well over 600 members currently signed up and active on that page. Now, you might be wondering, why would all those folks sign up to receive Patreon picks where they can get them here for free uh, right here on YouTube? And that's certainly a great thought, a great point, a great concern. But there is a big problem with me handicapping every single game on the board side in total. And the problem is this. If you were to bet every single game on the board that I put out here on YouTube side in total, you are guaranteeing yourself failure. No, you're not mishearing me. If you're going to bet every single game that's on the slate with your hard-earned money day in and day out, it's certainly not a winning formula for success. As a matter of fact, it is a recipe for disaster, and the reason for that is the books are way too smart. They're way too sharp. They have a lot more money than you and I do to be able to absorb that kind of action, and most important, uh, the math becomes aggressively and egregiously against you the more and more games you play like that. So what I do on Patreon is I make life a lot easier for you. I break it down and focus in on just three to four premium selections per day, sometimes five, and in today's case, there are five premium selections going off on that site but anyway i break it down and focus in typically on just three to four premium selections per day high percentage picks games that i personally have action on and i'll tell you this much my current patreon record is a whole lot better than it is here on youtube handicapping every single game on the board side in total and the good news is if you want to check out my current patreon record you can do that for free right now that is accessible to you at no charge it's located right on the homepage. All you have to do is click the link in the description section below. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive back into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, our next matchup, it is going to be Rodian Kapanis taking on Victor Ivanov, 2 o'clock p.m., Eastern start time. Ivanov's won seven out of his last eight matches with shutout victories against Kozachenko and Rodian Kapanis during that stretch. And speaking of Kapanis, he's dropped four out of his last five, as well as dropping six out of his last eight as well. Even worse, Rodian has been shut out in four out of those seven losses. Gotta fade him in this spot here. Give me Victor Ivanov in a blowout. Next game. Uh, I'm sorry, next match. It is going to be Blackarith Maxim versus Dmitry Derevinsky. 205 start uh, time. Dmitry is 3-1 in his last four, including winners in his last two straight. 
Even better, two out of those three victories came by way of shutout. Maxime on the other side lost his last two straight and posted a record of just two and four in his last six. Going to fade Maxime in this spot here. Give me Dmitry Derevinsky winning that one outright for some money line cash. Next contest, Vasily Kondratenko squaring off against Max Merck. 210 Eastern start. Max is 4 1 in his last five with shutouts in two out of those four victories. Max garnered himself marquee wins against the likes of Kachenko and Zaporoshits during that stretch. Vass on the other side has really struggled as of late, dropping five out of his last six. Going to fade Kondratenko in this spot here. Give me Max Merck winning this one straight up in a competitive contest. Next contest, it is going to be Mike Tedaruk facing off with Alexei Nataparovsky in a 2.30 Eastern start time. Alexei has suffered losses to the likes of Kozachenko and Mike Tedaruk within his last handful of contests. Meanwhile, Tedaruk on the other side, four months straight up in his last five, along with dominant shutout wins in four out of his last five victories as well. Mike's beaten Victor Ivanov, Kozachenko, and Rodian Kapanis during that stretch of wins. I like Tedaruk in this spot here. This is going to be a really good matchup, in my opinion. Give me Mike Tedaruk in a hard-fought battle, uh, getting the job done with a win. Next context, uh, Alex Nada taking on Vlad Livinoff, 2.35 Eastern start time. Vlad's really struggled as of late, dropping his last four straight. He's also been victorious in just one out of his last eight matches. Nada on the other side's won five out of his last eight himself. With shutout victories in two out of his last five wins. Gotta lean toward Alex in this spot here. Give me Alex Nada winning that one straight up. Next contest, it is going to be Rodian Kapanis versus Alexei Nataparashki, 3 o'clock p.m. start time. Alexei's won five out of his last six with three shutout victories during that stretch. He garnered himself marquee wins against the likes of Mike Taturuk, uh, Kozachenko, and Rodian Kapanis during that stretch. And speaking of Kapanis, he's just two and six straight up in his last eight including an embarrassing shutout loss at the hands of Alexei during that stretch. Got to lean toward Alexei in this spot here. Give me Alexei Nataparashki winning this one outright for some money line cash. All right, next contest, it is going to be Sergei Sokolov taking on Dmitry Derevinsky, 3.05 p.m. start. Derevinsky is just 3-4 and four in his last seven, including losses to Genovi, Livinoff, and Sokolov during that stretch. And speaking of Sokolov, he's won his last three straight matches and five out of his last seven. He's also garnered shutout victories versus Livinoff and Derevinsky during that stretch of wins. Got to lean towards Sergey in this spot here. Give me Sergey Sokolov winning this one straight up in a close one. All right, next contest. It is going to be Mike Taturuk taking on Victor Ivanov, 3.30 start time. Ivanov is a dominant 7-1 straight up in his last eight with shutout victories in two out of his last three wins. Taturuk on the other side suffer losses to the likes of Kapanis, Nataparovsky, and Victor Ivanov in his last handful of games. Got to lean toward Victor in this spot here. Give me Victor Ivanov winning that one outright in a very competitive matchup. All right, next and final contest for the show, it is going to be Artie Derevinsky squaring off against Black Rift Maxime, 3.35 Eastern start time. Maxime has dropped three out of his last four. Artie's beaten the likes of Livinoff and Dmitry Derevinsky within his last four. I'm going to give the very slight edge to Artie in this spot here. Give me Artie Derevinsky winning this one outright for some money line cash. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some shout outs. Once again, brought to you by Patreon.com slash Brock Page. Shout out to Shady McQueen, Miami Burner, Sandbox Mafia, Kiwi NZ, Roy Munson, Daniel King, Professional Sports Are Rigged, Brad Vegas, Ziggy007, AJO, Jayla Gogo, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to Demarcus Gill. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. But most importantly, guys, I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. Happy Thursday to you. Best of luck to you. 
And as always, don't forget to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.